that every okay. time. Hello and welcome to RSG Podcast episode 100. 100! Woo! Congratulations, yeah. guys. Congratulations. Man, good, good work, fellas. Yeah. Good work. Seriously, it's been a, it's been a long, strange trip, mm-hmm. but... You made it. Yeah, made we, it. We, we I'll take it with someone else, but, you know, we're here. <laughs> you say you would have? Right. Like, I'd rather I'd have rather not taken it with you, you fuckers. People were here for that. Right. All of them, but, you know, <laughs> we're moving on. Hey. Moving on. Moving on. We're trying something different today. We're pre recording. Mm. Mm. Doesn't really mean it's going to be any better. We have to justify you buying that fancy new camera. Yes, well, the right. fancy camera is supposed to help me with my dreams, so if I fail with this, then I'm pretty much just a failure. You know? <laughs> All right, Yay but dreams. Yay <laughs> dreams. Okay. Just embrace it like the rest of us. Yeah. Right? yeah. All right. Well, it. So in that case, we can go ahead and get started. We got a few things to talk about today. Mm, yeah. uh, we went and saw Mad Max over the weekend. Yeah. Um, Arrow and Flash are now teaming up with all the other people that were in that world that I don't know <laughs> yes. anything about <laughs> to create a superhero Doctor Who through time adventure save the world but not create a paradox thing yes like a, like a Doctor Who Justice League bastard love child yes yeah. Doctor Who bastard league love child <laughs> <laughs> bastard league that's exactly it sir you nailed it you nailed it the nailed Doctor it. Who bastard league is what we're going to call them from now that's on that's the name of the episode at RSG episode 100 <laughs> Doctor Bastard League <laughs> Doctor Who bastard league <laughs> Doctor Who bastard league <laughs> yes. Doctor Bastard League Who <laughs> uh, <laughs> It's called Legends of Tomorrow, right? Legends of Tomorrow. Legends of Tomorrow. Yeah. So we'll see how you know awesome it really is. Whatever. Um, Fox is doing a new X Men movie, <laughs> trying to create their own cinematic universe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Apparently, it's yes. going to have such favorites as Colossus's little sister. Right. Yeah. Which actually kind of might be kind of cool. Magic. With a K. Yeah. With a K. With a K. Like Mortal Kombat. Right. Right. Yeah. With a K. With a K. Right. With so, okay. let's go ahead and jump right into it. Let's start with, uh, well, actually, what do you guys want to start with? You want to start with Mad Max, uh, or do you want to start no. with... Well, let's start with Iron Flash. Let's get Mad Max. Okay. Let's start, well, actually, just start with a little news blurb. Like, honestly, just, the new X-Men movie is going to be um, featuring the New Mutants. New Mutants, yeah. Um, which is the, which are younger people than the X-Men. Right. They're younger kids, so it's going to be more like uh, X-Men for tweens? Because the, <laughs> the current X-Class isn't that old. No. You know, well, I mean, they're like college age, yeah, right? Yeah. It's just going to be like high school kids. So it's going to be like Teen Wolf. <laughs> Where they've got super But not as good? <laughs> well, not as bad? There was, there was, there was a, a, a hate... wolf girl in the <laughs> Minions. Um, yeah. There was, I can't remember her name for the life of me now. But there was, it involved, let's see, Cannonball. Cannonball was a new, new mutant. mutant. Magic was a new mutant. Yeah. Let's see, what else are they saying here? Uh, let's see. Just hold on to the characters. Yeah. Professor X. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, yeah. No, he's not new. All right. Blah, blah, we just stop. Right back. Blah, blah, back. Stop yes. with Magneto. We, we don't care about him. <sighs> Cable. Cable wasn't a mutant for a while. Cable was a new mutant. He was the leader of the new mutants. Yeah. So, yeah. Which Scott I like. Summers, I like Cable. Scott Summers. Yeah, but will they ever do Cable? Sign? No. Like, will they ever do a Cable that you like, you think? Cable's like, like the mutant version of Nick Fury. Right, but but I mean I'm like I don't know if they could do a cable on screen that I'd be like, that's a cool cable. Well, you've said this before about other things and I've been wrong. So, ooh, when was I ever ooh. wrong about anything? Mm. That's what I thought. We don't have we don't have enough time never. in this that's podcast to talk about the time. That's what I thought. We don't have enough time. Never. Let's move on. But who else sure they could. Cable? I don't see Moving what they on. They might have to reimagine it. It's good. It might have to yeah, but. Cannonball. Cannonball, who we yeah. mentioned. Cannonball is awesome, actually. Awesome, actually. I like Cannonball a lot, yeah. yeah. Um, what about <coughs> Scott's brother? Havoc? Yeah. Deadpool? Yeah, Deadpool is a mutant. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if they actually didn't Fuck. bring that Deadpool in. I love all the character art with the new Deadpool setup. I just love it all. Like, we got Deadpool sitting on a bearskin rug in front of a fire giving you that... <laughs> Sexy, come over and hang out. Look, all right, hang out. Yeah, hang out. That's all we're <laughs> gonna do, right? That, that's it. Yep. Yeah. Just gonna just gonna talk about stuff. Karma. Karma. Oh, I forgot about Karma. Yeah. But Karma came in later. She was like not part of the original run. So Karma was one of the founding members. Of the yeah. <laughs> it says right here, was Karma it? was one yeah. of the founding members. Make it to Marvel, right? Apparently, I'm wrong. 
about it. I, I, I don't remember her being part of the original run, but honestly, I, the only ones I remember for sure were, were, Can were for sure were Cannibal and Cable. Right. But, Let's see who else is going to... Oh, that's, that's, that's it. Those are just the six that they yeah. listed, but... And they're, and they're all going to talk about Professor X and the Magneto. Yeah. Ask me, though. You can't get rid of Professor X and Magneto. Nope. They're staples. Are you excited for it, or are you just... I, you know, have I been excited for any of the Fox? X-Men no. movies? Like, you always have to temper it with, like... Right. Like, I liked First Fox. Class, and I liked Into Future Past. And I guess we'll see how Deadpool goes. Because this should be coming out after Deadpool, I think. Yeah. So... A lot of it's going to depend well, on Deadpool. Do you think Deadpool? We'll do you think this Deadpool is going to factor into this? Like, if because they're this is just they're telling you to look out for these characters. We don't know whether or not Deadpool is right. going to be there. Right, these are characters that could be there. They could do none of these characters. Yeah, they could do um, absolutely none of them. Thing. Right. Yeah. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I, it could be good. I'll wait and see what they do. I, wait until we get more. It's information. gonna be. I think it's gonna be like. It's gonna be like. Days of Future Past, as far as like quality goes, I think, I think it's gonna have some really good stuff in there. But there's gonna be parts where you're just like, come on, and it just takes you out of the movie. Yeah. No, Days of Future Past had those. See, I didn't, I didn't think Days of Future Past really had those moments. But oh, really? Like when Magneto like decided <laughs> to control that didn't take you out of the movie. When he decided to what? Like oh, control wait, the like, Sentinels. Control the Sentinels with, with the threads. Right, 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 okay, fair yeah, enough, all right, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Yeah, we just like threaded railroad ties through them, and that somehow magically reprogrammed the Sentinels. Yeah, yeah. he hacked them at that point with yeah. magic railroad ties. Magic railroad ties. <laughs> okay, you make a good point. Fair enough. You make a good point. So, yeah. overall, I mean, we'll probably check it out, whether we're disappointed or not. I mean, we're still going to look at it, so. Yeah. Yeah, we'll watch it. No. Absolutely. It's like, it's like Jurassic World, which I can't wait to come out, so we can quit watching fucking trailers for in front of every <sighs> goddamn movie. You movie. notice, speaking of trailers, you don't see that often. You don't see very many unfriended trailers anymore. Remember that one? That's because Unfriended released. Oh, is it released already? Yeah. I didn't well, After they released the movie, they stopped releasing trailers. You sure? Just by eye. Not, sure? not true. Just, yeah. I've been in a movie theater <laughs> watching a trailer for a movie that's playing, like, right next to it. Okay. <laughs> yes, that's now, that's possible. But, I mean, if you go, like, that's just because that's just, that's just overlap. Like, you're going to be able to do that. You're going to be able to go and see Adventure Days of Ultron after Jurassic World comes out in, like, two weeks or whatever, and see that Age of Ultron will still be in, oh, in theaters at that point. Yeah. So you will be able to see one there, and then go next door and watch Jurassic World. <laughs> That's going to happen. But there will be no more new movies with them. Like, once all the old movies get out of the theaters, you won't have to watch them anymore. That's true. Uh, and I think uh, Jurassic World's going to be bad. It can't be that's anything my, but bad. That's my, that's my call. Like, it it's already be looks bad. bad. Like, it's it's literally, it's literally, let's do the stupidest thing we could possibly think of and watch it go to shit. Right. Like, it's just going to be dinosaur porn. For people who want to see CGI dinosaurs. Yeah. Dinosaur porn. Mm -hmm. Oh, other movies that are coming out this month that are very, I'm very excited about. Kung Fury comes out yes. in this month. Yes, Kung Fury does come out this month. 28th, uh, I believe, on yep. YouTube. On the YouTubes. Oh man, that looks great. Yeah. I cannot wait to watch that. Oh, wait, it's, it's released on YouTube? Yeah, for free. Yeah. For free. Oh, for free. Yeah. yeah, we'll have to get to there and have like a release party for it. Yeah. To watch it together. Get drunk. <laughs> That'll be fun. Before it. Yeah, we, can just, we can just do a Twitch stream of <laughs> yeah. us drinking, drinking and watching Kung Fury. Well, part of the reason why we're switching to a different medium is because we're going to be switching over to Twitch a lot sooner than we think. We're setting it up pretty much. We're pretty well ready. It's just a matter of getting a decent camera. <laughs> they yeah. can't actually stream. Apparently the one that I spent lots of money on can't actually stream. So <laughs> Yeah, we spent the better part of today trying to get this camera to stream, and it's like, nope. Classic so, stuff. It's a... Hey, I'm still gonna make my dreams happen with this camera. I believe you. It's you and me, camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's just you and me. Just make uh, it happen. But okay, let's move on to to Arrow and Flash. The <laughs> the wrapped up. They had the 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 season finales of this last week for Arrow mm -hmm. and Flash. Now and this is the first season of Flash, right? Yes. 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 First season of Flash. Okay. First so, season of Flash. Um, overall. Had like the season, I haven't finished it yet. But overall, I think it was a good story arc. Mm -hmm. Makes sense, because I think that like the reverse Flash story arc was really starting to piss me off. Like I was really getting old. I was really getting old. Like dude going into the room and looking at the future or whatever was really like 
<laughs> no! <laughs> we fucking know. We don't need five more minutes of him staring at a fucking paper from the future at the end of every episode. Yeah. I think it would have been nice to have at least, like, put us on the hook for a while as to who the reverse Flash was. Right. Like, at the very like, beginning, they're like, it's this dude. Right, like, five, <laughs> like five episodes dead, like, BT Dubs, this guy's the real bad guy. Right. And then we proceed, like, for many episodes, him going, oh, I'm not the bad guy. But you know he's the bad guy. Right. So it's very, very difficult to... To watch sometimes, but I don't. I, I actually really I I liked it. Yeah. I thought it was pretty well, I thought, good. I thought uh, it fell a, a lot into the um, like villain of the week sort of category. It did. It very much for a long been. time. Yeah. And then like some of the other arcs started to pick up with the Reverse Flash, and like we have like a sort of more ongoing story kind of. It felt a and little. And they bring some of the villains of the week back again. Yeah. So you have some sort of like you can build a, a dynamic between the two of them. Like with Captain Cold, who they great actor for Captain Cold, I think. I yeah, like that guy. I like that guy. Too. Captain Cold is the stupidest fucking name. <laughs> but yeah. I like that guy overall. I'm like, oh, couldn't we just got a cool name? They do some weird Captain stuff. Captain Cold, like Doctor Freeze. They do some weird. Yeah, right. They do some really weird stuff with the series because, um, as a tie-in, we'll just I'll mention this really really quickly and before we talk more about it. But um, Legends of Tomorrow is a yeah. new series that's going to be featuring the Flash, is going to be featuring the Arrow, it's going to be yeah. featuring the White Canary, which right. is really just the Black Canary come back to life, who come died life. In, in the Arrow. Yeah. So she's an angel. Um, <laughs> uh, it looks like she was reborn in the, wa uh, in the waters of Nanda Parbat, you know, the, the immortal waters or whatever, yeah. um, for, for Ra's al Ghul. Uh, but anyways, the point is, is that it looks like it's going to be a completely new series featuring these characters, which makes me wonder whether or not the other series are just not going to be... It's just this now? Yeah, I don't know. And they're not going to be doing the Arrow Did anymore? Did they introduce the Atom and Arrow? Absolutely. Okay. Oh, yeah. A whole lot. A whole lot. The Atom is definitely in the Arrow. All the characters you see there, with the exception of Hawkgirl, right. are in the Arrow and or the Flash. Uh, sometimes both. So, the thing here... The thing that's weird here is, like, are they just not going to do the other series anymore, then? I mean... Uh, I don't know. Maybe? Yeah. Maybe not? How much can the CW support? I don't know. Because they are, they are doing a Supergirl, too. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, how much can they... Can they do? Yeah. The, um... Oh, my God. Apparently, Arrow... Diggle season. becomes freaking... The Green Lantern. Maybe. Yeah. I know you guys tuned in no, to watch this. Oh, potential. Okay. Potential. Yeah. That makes sense, though. That actually makes sense. Yeah. Uh, that would be really cool. That would be really cool. If Diggle from the Arrow becomes the Green Lantern, that'd be awesome. I, I'm down for that. Yeah. I'm down for that. But, I, well, I guess they're just not going to just do straight up the Arrow, the Flash. They're really just going to break it off and just do a bunch of different kinds of stuff. Like, okay, the Arrow is done, but now he's, like, now you know the character, now he's going to be in this series right. instead. Right, and other stuff like that. Which is be. something that's really not been done before. Yeah. So that makes it very compelling, I think. I do have some problems with... Well, with, I think I'm all right with that, because, like, comics come in limited runs. You know what I mean? You sort yeah. of, like, you tell a story, you know, 20 episodes, 40 episodes, whatever it is, and then you're done. You sort of, like, reboot. Yeah. And do a different, do a different version of that character. Do a different. Like the character stays who he is basically, but it's his do past. different stories, stuff like that. Yeah. You know? So yeah, you do Wolverine this story, like you know Weapon X, and then that was he, he was the main character, and that was like the series character, yeah. and then all of a sudden he shows up as like a main character in the X Men, which is a completely different completely thing. Completely different, series, right? Yeah. So so it makes sense that they would do that. Like it does, and I think I like that sort of storytelling better on TV. I think a lot of TV's been headed towards that. Like yeah, we tell a story arc. And then it ends, and we do something else. That involves the same characters that you come to love and right. you know, know, yeah. know and love. So, but I do have some issues. Like, they, they're they doing some weird things. Like, in the end of Flash, spoilers, in the end of Flash, um, Barry decides he needs to uh, transport some guys out of a vault because they're going to die. Okay. Okay? And he enlists the help of Captain Cole, who is ostensibly a bad guy at this point. Right. Okay. And he, predictably, Captain Cold betrays him. 
Right. Curse your name. And goes, you know what? The, the people you're trying to transfer out of this area, because they're superhumans, they might be more used to me later on, so I'm going like, to sabotage everything and let them out. Right. And then the, now they owe me one. You know? So, but the problem is, is now Legends of Tomorrow features him as one of the main dudes. Yeah, but you talk, Captain talked Gold. about how they were criminals still. Like, heat, heat wave. Yeah, but the, the, the whole thing is, is, is that at the, the, at, at the end of Flash, they did not leave on good terms, obviously. Right. Burying right. this guy. And um, after Barry trusted him, and he betrayed him again, like, it's kind of weird that he's, he's just going to, like, how are they, they going to close that hole up so quickly without it being, like, a show well, focused on their relationship or focused, right. like, focused on Barry specifically, you know? Yeah. It, it, it seems to me they're going to have to gloss over it a bit. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe they do a great job, and it's fantastic. I, I yeah. don't know. I really do want to see uh, Diggle as the Green Lantern. I think a Green Lantern would be a fantastic show. I could spend hours on this website. <laughs> Shanghai Noon is getting a sequel. A sequel, yeah. Shanghai, Shanghai Dawn. Dawn. Uh, yeah, I'm not I sure we need that either. No, but we don't need we that. We need that like we need an Independence Day too. <laughs> <laughs> Which is also coming out. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. Unfortunately. You know, Independence Day is one of those movies. Will Smith's in the movie, son. But fortunately, not his real son. <sighs> Independence Day is one of those movies that, like, I watched, and when I first watched it, as I watched it, I enjoyed the crap out of it. I did. Yeah. Straight up, I'm not gonna lie. I enjoyed watching Independence Day, and then the moment the the, the screen went black, and I started thinking about it, I'm like this movie was shit. Oh, it's absolutely like turn your brain off. Summer blockbuster fun. It, oh, like, turn your brain very, off. You yeah. just turn your brain off. And you're just like, yeah, explosions, cool, aliens, fight up, yeah, do it. Like, but you can't think about it because if you think about it, you're gonna be like, he what? No. With the no. what? He no. had that what? No. no. He didn't do any of that. Shit. He didn't. That didn't happen. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I enjoyed the crap out of it when I when I watched it. You know. Yeah. Um, and I think it's well, also, also tune into everyone on every once in a while. It's on TNT or whatever. Like, yeah, let's do it. Let's just yeah. let's just watch some explosions and Bill Pullman being Bill Pullman. Yeah, way to go, Bill Pullman. Shit. <laughs> way to go. Good job, Bill Pullman. Yeah. But uh, let's see what else. I, I think that's it for. Do you guys have anything else about Arrow or what you don't? No. You never watch. Why? Why don't you watch? I watched the, the first watch season it? of Arrow and I've seen like three episodes of Flash. I just don't watch TV. I don't. Get real cold in my spot right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we need to find a replacement for East Ep for season oh, two. All right. Look for the like, next 100 episodes. Yep, the next 100 episodes. <laughs> yeah, I'll be the guy behind the camera now. Right. With the sound like, effects board. Like, has been relegated to technical director. Yeah. Like, you're going to want to, like, throw in occasionally, like, shut the <laughs> fuck up, right? <laughs> you're a director. TV, director's remember? quiet. You know who's <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> All right, you know what? I'm, I've got the next like four days off. I'm gonna watch some of this stuff. Oh man, you're watching on the dare wall, which is basically like illegal Netflix. So just <laughs> yeah, true. yeah. So focusing, focusing on task. Yeah. Uh, we watched Mad Max on Friday night. Yeah. Fury Road. Fury Road. Fury Road. It's the fourth Mad Max technically. Basically, yeah. 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 yeah There's Road Warrior. Mad Max. Yeah, yeah Mad Max, and then Road Warrior, Road Warrior. Thunderdome, and then Thunderdome. Thunderdome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fourth one, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Really, really enjoyed. It was really good. It it's kind of strange because in a way it sort of fits that same like, although it's not summer yet, summer blockbuster stereotype kind of movie, where you go in and you turn your brain off and you just enjoy it. However, like. The movie doesn't give you anything to like roll over in your brain in the first place. Like it gives you nothing to think about, per se. Uh, like it, I shouldn't say that. It doesn't give you anything to like ponder on, per se. Because like it, you can think about it, but it's not. It's not something you're like, oh, well, how did they do that or what? You know, you're not right. really. There's not like there's a no, really deep, right? Like like, like independence. Like oh well, how are we gonna beat the bad guys? Well, we need to think of this. Well, give them viruses. You know, right. there's none of that kind of. stuff. It's just. It's just pure. What do we do here? We hit him with a car, right? You know, hit him with a car. There's no yeah. like real like, you know, there's some there's some good character development, but it's not it's not like a it's not a movie that you have to think about. The plot. There's actually quite a bit of good character development in reality. It's, it is it's great for, for a movie that was like literally ninety percent action. Yeah, 
there's a lot of there's a lot of pretty character development in it. Yeah. Well, it's because it's very subtle. Yeah. And they do it in a way. Well, the reason why it's good is because it's subtle, and they do it in a way that it's in smaller bits. Yeah. You know? well, and it's very natural. It is very natural. Yeah. Which is kind of what surprised me about the movie. You know? Yeah. That it was, you know, in this craziness, it was still very natural. That people were still very human. It literally started right out the gate with action, though. Like, yeah. The very first scene, Max is getting tore up by some the sand first, raiders. Yeah, yeah. The very first car chase scene was a great car chase, and it was the worst car chase of the movie. Yeah. 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 I love the whole time he's looking at his car like, that's mine! That's yeah. <laughs> Every time he sees it on the road. Yeah. That's my car. That's my car. And then he sees it go up in the tornado and he's like... Yeah. <laughs> he's like, yeah. upset. He's upset by it, but... Yeah. The the whole... I don't know. The, the movie just felt like a force of nature, honestly. Like, you're... Yeah. It was just good. It was just good, uh, you know... Yeah, it was really good. It was definitely really good. Uh, there was a lot of parts to it that I enjoyed. I, mean, I liked uh, Theron. Is that her name? Theron? Shirley yeah, Theron. Shirley yeah. Theron. I really liked her her character in that. Like Furiosa. Yeah, yeah Furiosa. 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 She was a beast. Well, yeah. she, she also had a, like Imperator. Fur you can't make Imperator <laughs> Furiosa not yeah. beast. Right. Like, with a name like that, you've got to be you beast. You can't be not awesome. Yeah. But it just, I mean, so uh, would you cut of, your arm off like you have a sweet mechanical arm like that? I kind of would. Yeah, right. <sighs> yeah. A mechanical arm was a beast. <laughs> What I love is that it was just so simplistic, though. Yeah. Because it wasn't like, it was like literally just a claw hand. With like one finger that like clamps down. Yeah. And that's it. And that's it. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I don't love how she had to wear it like strapped around her entire body. Like, it didn't just like attach to her arm. She had to like harness the whole thing on and strap it in. Yeah. yeah. You know, which makes sense. You know, in order for you to get to act actually tight enough on there. Yeah, to work. Yeah. And well, and the whole thing was like, she just was a just was a badass. Like the entire like what is she doing? She's she's driving a car, but she looks super badass when she's doing it. Not just any car. A fucking war machine semi gas can tank it's yeah. with a like a, a cow killer on the front of that thing that just drops down, throws sand up to put fires out. That, that part was that, that was the best scenes. Yeah. That's one of the best scenes. Yeah. The like the way that the movie imagined this combat, this this road warrior combat, was so well fleshed out. Yeah. And it's part of what I loved about it. Like, what I liked, there was no explanation or like how they put the cars. It, it was just, it just happened. It just right. Was. Well, it was all visually explained. Yeah. They're was, on screen. You could see what they were doing and how they did it. And you're like, oh, that makes sense. That that's why they do that. That makes sense. Like. Yeah. One of the best parts, I thought, and you brought this up. Right after the movie was when they had they had at one point they had like pulls like long pulls that they swing back and forth on so they can get over people's other people's cars and like drop grenades or, or hit with spears grab people, or grab people yeah. whatever they need to whatever do you need to do right but like Rambo spears with explosive tips right but this but one rival gang's car has spikes all over the, the car yeah. so yeah. you can't do that yeah. yeah. you know and I'm like this is so just so beautifully thought out and how right like you can see how like the each different tribe had like evolved to counteract the, you know, the, the tactics of the other tribes or whatever. Yeah. So like great. the motorcycle guys that would use the dunes to ramp to over ramp the cars, over to cars drop and grenades. just drop grenades in on them. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I still don't know how they got out of that shit alive. Yeah. <laughs> like their fucking warring must be yeah. pretty tough because they got hit by a lot of grenades. Like they either have shitty grenades, or their warring is a lot tougher than I think it is or should be. Because like they're like, make you drop a, it's a tanker truck. Yeah. I mean, you drop a grenade on a tanker truck, it's split open. Well, like, I, a, like a can of pot. I don't know how much of it was like shot an, actual, by a an actual explosive grenade just as opposed to like a glass like, jar of gas. Or yeah. 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 There was it seemed, of, it seemed, it seemed more like an incendiary than they yeah. did like pure grenades. Because the explosives were big, you know, from right. grenades. They were just lots of fire. And she had that shit on lockdown. Right. You got fire <laughs> in my car? No problem. <laughs> Boom. Like, she drops... You know, like you said, the, the cow killer. <laughs> the cow killer, yeah. Like drops it down and it just sh shoots the sand up onto the top of the engine and just, just yeah, just smothers the fire. Smothers yeah. the fire. I'm like, that's awesome. That would probably kill the engine, but that's still cool. As, I mean, that's still. <laughs> no, they awesome. had the they had things to close. Yeah, close the air. Yeah, they close the air intakes. Yeah, close the air intakes. Like, made a point to like show right, that. Right, make you show like yeah. close the air intakes. Because he yeah. yeah, calculate back up. You know, they were probably sitting there thinking, guys like us, they were like, ah, yeah, no, it's not. Oh, oh, okay. Although, I don't know how, I mean, how, working as how a well that's mechanic, with yeah. a bunch of sand, like, getting blasted. 
the little the carburetor blocks, right? They, they sit there and they block this thing from coming in. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> but I mean, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, they like they're not airtight. Like it's not sandstone right. going to get in there. Yeah, so, sandstone going to get in there. How? I mean, I, I just those ends. I think it blocks off enough. Yeah. How? You know, movies. Right. Right, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's it's really the, it's the future, bro. Oh right, yeah, the it's apocalyptic the future. future. What was, I don't know, there's the so future. many scenes, uh, like, there's so many scenes that I loved out of that flick. Yeah. So many yeah. good scenes. Well, I love the, like, the three bad guys set up that they had. Like the family? Yeah. Yeah. Bullet Farm. The Bullet Farm. Gas Town. Yeah, Gas Town. The Citadel. Who, that guy's apparent name is The People Eater? Yeah. Is his name apparently? Yeah. The People Eater? Yeah, yeah. see, so The People With Eater. Titus. Yes. <laughs> the Bullet Farmer, and then Immortan Joe. Who was a fucking looked fucking badass? The whole what was yeah. his name? Immortanjo, I guess. Immortanjo. Yes, I, I was never told Joe. Yeah, I thought. I always thought it was Immortal Joe. That's what I thought too. But apparently it's Immortun, Immortun, Immortan. It's an a, it's an N at the end instead of an L. Immortanjo. Immortanjo. Right. Okay. All right. And yeah. I also loved about the movie how it didn't follow like the slang and stuff like that was all very unique to the Mad Max world. Like if you watch some of the old ones, you'd recognize some of the slang used in in the new ones. And it wasn't so far out there to where if you're watching, you're just lost the whole time. Like, what? What? Like they they applied it very well. So, well, and well, I thought it was an interesting, um, like metaphor. Yeah. Okay, because they, they start off, and when they're looking through like Immortan Joe stuff, they have he has on the back room on the back wall who killed the world. Yeah. Right. And so you can say like, okay, Immortan Joe's basically religion. Yeah. He basically has idealistic zealots. He was. He was. He's, he's religion. Yeah, he is religion. You know, the gas farmer guy, the people leader. He's basically greed. Yeah. And then war for the bullet farmer. Yeah. That's who killed the world. Nice. I don't know if I I hate you for this. Because <laughs> like, you're it obviously you're, it wasn't in your face though. It really wasn't. And you can feel free to watch this movie and not take that away. I almost hate you for it, but you're not wrong. I know. Uh, props to Tom well, Hardy, so, by the way. Yeah. Oh, holy man. shit. He like, was amazing as Max. Right. For he, saying, like, 45 words, he yeah. did an amazing job of, like, portraying Max as a character. Well, and they were the most, like, anytime Max spoke, it lent it a lot, because he only spoke very, very rarely. He only spoke, you know, occasionally. It lent, anytime he spoke, it lent it a lot of, like, credence, a lot of, a lot of weight. You know, like... Like one of my favorite lines is is just, like it's it's a simple line. I don't know why it stands out to me, but it does. When she's like, at one point he's gonna go back, uh, and and try and intercept the bad guys and are chasing them. Yeah. And she's like, well, what happens if you don't get back before we have to leave? He's like, then you go on without me. Yeah. Then you right. go on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like, yeah. Then you leave. Then you leave. But the way he said it was like, it's obvious at this point. Right. 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 right, right. Like, like you, you go on. Why are we even talking about it? Like, yeah. Right. The yeah. Answer is you go on. Oh. Yeah. Just, ah, it was, it was really good. But I gotta hand it to him, too. Like, the majority of the movie was in this reddish desert, or this orangish desert. Mm -hmm. And then there's one scene where they go through this oil soaked field, and it was just awesome because they took it from just straight, bright, orange, everything to just dark. And it didn't really, like, it was just a very easy, tra like, transition that didn't really hit you too much of a shock, that it was something completely different. Like, you right. can see in your mind, if you live in this universe, oh yeah, no, if I cross through this big old storm over here, clearly it's gonna be something like that. It's yeah. like moors and stuff, yeah. it was yeah. kinda cool. Yeah, it's well, cool. and I love the fact that the, like, cause, I'll, I'll be honest, when I watched on the trailer, I figured the giant sandstorm at the end is the climax of the movie. Yeah. That's what I thought, too. Yeah, no, like, nope. first 30 minutes of the movie, they hit the giant sandstorm, that's like the end of Act 1. Yeah. Not, not even the climax of the movie. And it was good. It yeah. was, yeah. The sandstorm was awesome. It was yeah. like, I mean, it was almost like they're like, you know what? I want to put in this movie a space battle. How do we do that? How do we do that? How do we put a space battle in some, ah sandstorm? sandstorm? Yes. Like there's like in the sandstorm, there's like, the tornadoes roiling everywhere and lightning, and I'm like, damn, that looks cool. Yeah. That looks awesome. Yeah. I I do want to know though how guitar guys. Right, yes. come on now. There's no uh, way that makes it through the sandstorm. Yeah, they had this guy who his whole purpose in the movie was to wear like a slipknot style mask and an orange jumpsuit, bungee strapped to a wall of Marshall amplifiers, <laughs> yeah. and all he had was this 
like bass guitar bass. slash six string six string guitar combo with an exhaust pipe at the end that shot fire out and he just played <laughs> metal riffs the whole it time. Was, it was the coolest shit. It was I don't know why I'm, I like. Normally, I would see something like that, and I would rail against it, like, every... I was like, ugh, this is stupid, why? But I didn't. Right. I yeah, loved it. I just soaked it, it in. And it I'm fits like, perfectly in this world. Yeah. It, it absolutely, 100% fits perfectly yeah. in the world they've created. Yeah. Even the combat with him was cool, because, like, he just bungees around on his little rig and gets his guitar back, and as soon as he gets his guitar back, he just starts playing it again. Like, right, that's, that's purpose all he life. wants to do. Yeah. All he wants to do is shred. Well, I mean, and that's... Uh, that was, like... Basically, the society though that Joe had set up, uh, Imotan. Yeah, Immortan. Immortan. Let's call him Immortal Joe. Gonna immortal call him. Joe. It's, it's, Let's call him Immortal Joe. Yeah, it's it's the society of Immortal Joe had set up. People had very specific purposes. Like, yeah. there were the the serfs, so to speak. Yeah. They're they're just well, shitty people to make him feel better about himself. <laughs> yeah, and you he know? occasionally gave water and told them not to get addicted to water. Right. Yeah. Don't let it take Milk control. Milk mothers, yeah. breeders, you, you, you need it. warriors. He's straight up. He's straight up religion. Yeah. Straight up religion. Like very, like, very, religion. very like hard caste system <coughs> that, yep. that existed. Mm -hmm. It was, I don't know, for for as silly as it seemed like it was, I loved it. And, and it well, also you know who, seemed pretty deep. You know who I felt kind of bad for? Mm. The poor, um, the Half-Life boys. Yeah. Or whatever, like yeah. the, who were with Furiosa in the beginning. Yeah. Because they're just going along with Falkman. They don't know what's going on. Yeah. yeah. They're not clued into the plan. Yeah. Like, Furiosa is literally hijacking the whole thing and just taking off and going her own direction. Yeah. And they don't know. But they're like, we follow orders. Yeah, what whatever are we doing? Whatever Furiosa yeah. tells us to Jared do. Furiosa, she said it. Yep. yep. You know, and they're, I, I kind of feel bad for them. It's like, they all end up getting killed. You know, and like they're like, they're just following orders. Right. You know? So you're kind of like, and I love the way he keeps them up, like, what's going on? Well, why are we going east? What's going on? Hey, uh, they're, the rest of our team is tracking us? What's, uh, what's up with that? Just, just fight them when they get here. You know, like, she, the whole, the whole thing was interesting because they actually introduced this concept that, like, they're actually just people. Yeah. With, 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 uh, what was, was his name? Nuts. Honestly. Nux. 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 Nux with an X and Nux. UX. Okay. With Nux, who was, who was, you know, one of the warrior boys. Yeah. Um, who ends up with through his blood some bag. <laughs> misadventures, right. you know, becomes becomes intertwined and really part of Furiosa's group and Max's group. Yeah, yeah. well that's part of the development is yeah. sort of his like weaning away from this like I literally live to die and be reborn again. In and, uh, you know, from Valhalla. With a chrome mouth. Yes, spray painted so chrome and so shiny, paint. so shiny. Yep, like the yeah, that's yeah, it was awesome. It was awesome. But that's what this, they say. So chrome. Yeah. So it is what they say. Chrome. It's so chrome, so shiny. So, shh. Yeah, it may, which also makes sense, honestly. But the whole thing is, they introduce that concept that these people are just they're people, they're just people. who have been completely led astray. Yeah. Um, or just I shouldn't say led astray as much as just well, they've completely bought into this religion and this yeah. ideology, and it, it's the whole world to them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so someone shows up someone else. Like some vagina. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's the magic vagina yeah. changes his mind. She comes along. Yeah. She's like, <laughs> she's like, no. And he's like, yeah. all right. Okay. You got a point. You got a point. You got a point. Wow, that's not exactly true. I mean, he did go through some shit. He, you know, to, to, right. to where he came to. So. Yeah. I love this. The one thing I really <laughs> liked about the movie is the way that they portrayed you can't stop. You can't stop ever. So... They're on this road, they're running, there's oh, repairs yes. that need to be done to the vehicle, yes. and they have to literally get out and climb across this rig as if it was a train on tracks, and repair everything from engines as they're to... Moving. Yeah. As they're moving. As yeah. they're moving. As they're moving. And not just moving at a slow pace, like they are Booking. pedal to the metal, superchargers yep. on blast, and they're just going. They're, yeah. they're harnessed to the, to the bottom of the rig, and they're like, you know, doing repairs as it's moving. Yes, I don't know, like, well, they're still running, and they're getting out, like, blowing gasoline, like, it's like gasoline, just blowing it into the, you yeah. Know, yeah, air intakes and shit, like, yeah. just to go faster. But I also like how they specified that that will blow your engine. That will, so right, they're like, do not blow the engine. Don't, right, don't get too much. Don't get too excited with that. I, is, has Marv seen this movie yet? I don't think like, he has. I, think I he feel like we it. should show this movie to Marv, as a car head, because, as a car head, I think there's a lot to enjoy in yeah. There's a lot to enjoy in here. You know, oh, yeah, it's just raw V8 power and, like, 
you got they've got two V8s, just like a dragster on this war rig. This thing's pumping out easily 1,200 horsepower minimum. But that just oh. Vehicle head enjoying it. See what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I'm with you. I, I, I agree with you. Like, as a non vehicle head, I still enjoy the crap out of it. But I think, as, <coughs> like, because they don't go into the, it's just for people who know about this kind of stuff. Yeah. Are just going to see it. Oh, I know this. Oh, this is really cool. Oh, this yeah. is super sweet. You know. But it's, it's stuff that you don't ever do. <laughs> right, like, right, right. You, you don't do that. Yeah, but until the apocalypse comes. Right, right. Then you do what you got to do. But yeah. that was one of the main things, and I, I really love the, the vehicles component. Like, they kept that as a big deal, because in the first Mad Max movie, it was all about him getting his interceptor. And once he got his interceptor, and it was supercharged, and it was all rebuilt, then he became Mad Max. Like, that was his thing. And when his car was taken from him, it was a big deal for him because, I mean, he fought hell and back to get his car back on so many occasions. So That's my I car. Love, That's mine. Yeah, I love how they kept the cars as a very important aspect in these movies. In this movie. Yeah, it, it was like survive. You can't. Right. Yeah. You don't get anywhere else without it. But I also so. love how in the apocalyptic world, gas is like because the first Mad Max films they were fighting over gas because they didn't have it. Right. Now they got this town and gas is no big deal. So it makes you wonder if like they do sell it off to the other gangs or whatever. Mm -hmm. Well, my guess is that gas farmer sells it off to everybody. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. He's the corporations, so they'll do yeah. anything for you for a price. Well, I mean, it's probably very much like you know any kind of any kind of feudal situation where the resources are scarce. You know, yeah. you have people who control it, and then you have people who want it and will like do you know raids yeah. and you know you know because the thing is is if you attack like a caravan of people, not even a caravan, just like a few people, you're gonna steal their gas. Yeah, it's gonna just mm -hmm. you just take their gas. So you know. When I live, they have like the giant ba bomb full of gas they attach to the war rig. Ba bomb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was like a giant ba bomb. Yeah. It did. I was like, why is she holding a ba bomb around? That being said, it exploded in a far smaller fireball than I thought it would have. Yeah. Well, it makes you wonder. Well, it might have burned for a while because it did look to be pretty heavily enforced as like a tank. Yeah. So my guess is that like a lot of the explosion, because again, if it was full, like. Reality physics, if it was full, it would have exploded. Right, it would have just, <laughs> you know. It, yeah. Right, but. But there's, yeah, I love how they even did some <laughs> of the things like when the guy unplugged the back of that to slow the vehicle down, like it locked the brakes up. He knew right. Like, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. he wasn't trying to get rid of it, he just wanted to slow him down. Right. That was such a good, yeah, it's yeah. really good film. Or like, I, I did kind of put, it kind of reminded me of Dune in the aspect of, um, was it Dune? I don't know. The people eater guy kind of reminded me of the guy who would put the little plugs. Uh, the other bear. He wasn't the people eater. The people eater was a guy who ended up getting blinded. No, oh. wasn't it? No. no, I thought people eater was the other way around. Yeah, yeah. People uh, eater is the guy with the with the like the elephantitis or gout or whatever yeah. he has with the, the giant nipple rings. Fat feet and the nipple yes, rings. and his like three piece suit with nipple <laughs> rings. Well, it's a three piece suit with just the nipples cut out and rings, and I'm yeah. like, and he's sitting there the whole time. Genius. Like, I, I would wear that. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> but. I mean, Start wearing it to work every height day. of fashion. <laughs> I kept thinking when I, every time I saw him, I was like, "That looks like the guy from Doom." Yeah. Oh, what was his so. name? What was your other name? Harkonnen. Harkonnen. Yeah. yeah. Baron Harkonnen. Harkonnen. Baron. Yeah. From the original Doom movie. I would really like. Okay. Off topic. Original Doom movie. Enjoyed it. Yeah. I enjoyed it. It's classic. Not like the books. Yeah, the books. Oh, yeah, I've never read the books. I keep, really? People keep telling me to read them all the time. I've never read them. I've actually, yeah. I've actually read them, surprisingly. It's on my list of things to one day get around to, but just never have. Yeah, it's not like it, but there's a lot of difference. Well, it's a very condensed version of the book. Oh, right, right. So there's, there's a, a lot, lot of stuff. There's a lot of books anyway. I think it's a condensed version of the first book, but... Yeah, So yeah. exactly. Yeah. So it's, it's not, it's, it's really very different. And then they did the miniseries for Dune, which was much more like the books. Yeah. You know, much, much closer to it. And not too bad. Not too bad, but I would really like to see like a modern day, big budget movie made for Dune. Oh, it's like got the audience, you think? Huh? It has to, it has to pull in the bucks. It's got to make the money. Because if it doesn't make enough money, they'll never do it. It's at least as big as the monkey movies. Like I think we can all agree we want to see it. It's I think it. Has, I think it has at least as, as apes, a large. Bro. Apes. Whatever. Fucking it has racist. at least a large a large following as. <laughs> You can't go through the uh, entire episode without no. some sort of racist comment from this guy. Right? <laughs> what the f Seriously. The only person who can be racist here are you two. Down. Uh, I can't be. <sighs> only you two. 
holding the white privilege card are actually capable of being racist. That is one of the privileges I have. Incorrect. God damn, I can't wait for my minority. Just because you said incorrect <laughs> makes you racist. You can be racist. You can hate people. You, you can't tell me what to do, white man! Uh, apparently history tells me well, I can't. Connor's, Connor's <laughs> technically correct due to the, the way racism is actually defined. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we use the word racism to describe a whole lot of shit that's not racism, but, yeah, Connor's technically correct. Gonna have to deal with it. But speaking of that, I fight for oppression, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but no, uh, I think it's, I think the following for the original Doom movie is at least as big as the, uh, yeah, know, as part of the I think it could, I think it could be successful. I think so. But who are you gonna get to do it? Good question. Just I don't real. know. Cameron? Mm, Cameron. I would like Cameron over Whedon. I like Whedon, don't get me wrong. But yeah. Whedon's, Whedon's style of like writing doesn't really belong in Dune. I don't right, think. I don't think, because there shouldn't be quips in Dune. Yeah. True, should, you're should, right. There should, right. right. should be quips in Dune. And Whedon can't write anything without should be treated as such. It just, it just is what it is. I mean, it's... Yeah. yeah. I, I like Cameron for it a lot, though. I think that's a good choice. I think Cameron's like the best possible option. Yeah, yeah. I want to hate that man, I do, but... But or or maybe the guy who did Godzilla. Option. I don't know. I liked him too. I can't remember. Blue Camp? No. Oh, speaking Blue of... No. Who is it? Blomp Camp? It's not Blomp Camp. Neil Blomp Camp. It's an eye. Who did Godzilla? Look it up. To the Googles. Yeah. Good Godzilla stuff. director. Ah, I spelled it wrong. So did it. No search results. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even try a second time. I'm like, oh, Ryan's doing it. <laughs> Ryan, I'll get it. Let's see, who was it? Who was this it? is what he's for. Ah, yes. This Edwards, is Gareth one. Edwards. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Gareth Edwards. Gareth Edwards. He's going to be doing the second Star Wars. Yes, he is. Well, second and third. Force Awakens. Yeah, second and oh, third. Oh, yeah. Jeff Abrams isn't doing anything? No. Abrams doing the first one, and that's it. Yeah. And he's so out. Gareth Edwards will be doing the rest of them. I mean, yeah. as excited as he was to do them, I'm surprised he's not, like, sticking around. Oh, what about I think the? He knows it's going to be an atrocity that the rest of them are going to be bad too. <laughs> <laughs> He's what... looking at a phantom minutes right now. You know, I wonder if that's the reason why he got out of this, <laughs> or if, the, if that's the reason why he's not doing the other. That's shit. just, I don't know. Like, why? Why would you only sign up for? Well, I'm not. I'm Look, I'm Unless super excited to see it. Okay, I'm still super excited to see it, but. I'm... Of tempering my expectations, thinking we could be watching the Phantom Menace again. It can't be that bad. We could be. It can be that bad. But he's a decent Just writer. Just because you say it can't be that bad doesn't mean it won't be that bad. Abrams is a decent writer. He's he, didn't, not, he didn't do all the writing. I thought he did. No. I thought he was a writer no. for this. Writer director. Mm -hmm. No? Okay. He co wrote it with, I believe, the guy who wrote Empire Strikes Back. Oh. Which should be yeah. a pro in and reality, because Empire is the best. Star Wars movie. Absolutely. Okay, what about the what about the brothers for Dune? Um, the Cone ones brothers? that did uh, no 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 the, the ones that did <laughs> that did uh, the the Russos the Russos. Thank you. They are brothers, right? Yeah. I just know they're siblings. Can they do something? Maybe one's a girl. I don't know. Maybe no, the brothers. Yeah, it's the Russo brothers. Uh, I mean, we're, these are the guys that did the New Avengers, right? They are going to be doing Infinity War two and three, okay. one and two. Sorry. Yeah. And they will be doing Civil War, and they did Winter Soldier. They did Winter Soldier. Um, I mean, it's Winter, Winter Soldier. Are these kind War. of sci-fi? Did you see the Crossbones picture? Did you see the Crossbones picture? They no. had a picture of Crossbones from Civil War from the set. Set pick of Crossbones. Yeah. He looks pretty badass, actually. I'm for it. Hmm. Oh wow. Wait, that's not it, is it? No. Oh, okay. But that's what it looks like in the comics. And then they're like, this is what it looks like in the movie. Like, it's a picture from pretty far away, but... Would you just give me the picture? I hate websites. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's, that's a good crossbones. Good. Yeah. Check out, the picture for cross cross check out the picture for crossbones. <laughs> wow, I like the helmet a lot. Yeah, I'm pretty psyched for it. That's really good. Yeah. What do you think about the new Batman outfit? The new Batman outfit? Yeah. You know, they're supposed to be doing the, um... Because he looks like he's the the taking CG steroids. <laughs> he does look like he's on CG steroids. <laughs> well, is it, when he's fighting Superman, they, he's wearing the mech suit, though, right? So... There's, there's... But there's so little footage of him in his... That we can't tell what he's really going to look right. like as Batman. There's a shot where it doesn't look like he's wearing the mech suit. Right. And he's, like, up on, like, a 
they, what do they call that suit? They had a name for that, like, particular one from the Dark Knight series. Something about December or snow or something. Like that. <laughs> Affleck is not spelled like Affleck. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the insurance people. He just looks like super huge. He's ginormous, very, very bulky. And again, I love how this suit like, like, connects to an individual abs and schools yeah. around. Him. Huh. Yeah, <laughs> like give me a break, guys. Seriously, that's what I liked about Vision's <laughs> costume. Like, yeah, it had some abs on there, but they look just like armor plate abs yeah. underneath everything. I don't know. He made his own costume. He well, straight right. up was like. I want a cape, dude. Yeah, he saw it. I too want a cape. <laughs> Capes are fucking sweet, dude. I'll have one too. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like, at first, I was excited about it because they were doing like the. Um, I can't remember what they called the costume. Because Batman's had a couple of different costumes, styles. Yeah, let me see if I can find it. And um, I liked that style because it had like the big bat across the front, across the chest. And then it was like solid, like black underneath that and stuff like that. But. <sighs> I don't like the way it looks here. You know, like this picture for Batman down there does not make me does not make me happy. See, this is this is the reason why we need to start streaming because we can actually just like flip it over so people can see what the hell we're talking about. Yeah. See, now this looks better, but that bat. Sorry, guys, you don't get bigger. to see it. Google it, find it out for yourself, because we're not your parents. This bat should be bigger. It'd be like an attachment on the front. Mm. But yeah, I know what you're talking about. Like, there's a couple of scenes from the trailer where I was like, "That Batman looks horrible." Yeah. There's a better picture of it, bigger picture of it, right there. But anyway, so that's not the Ben Affleck. Yeah, that's the chin. You can tell body double. Chin. It's really Vin Diesel. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad it's it's really Vin Diesel. <laughs> I'm glad they CGI'd his face in there, but <laughs> size wise, like, right? Yeah. He just looks super bulky. It's right. kind of weird. And maybe he did bulk up that much. Maybe he did. But well, if you, you saw in Gone Girl, he was pretty big in Gone Girl. Like, after wasn't that. that big? Well, dude, he was in the middle of filming, probably prepping for the film when he's doing it. But he was bigger than normal Affleck size. All right, yeah, but he wasn't that big. Yeah, I can't find the name of it either. <laughs> That's a weird name. Anyway, let's get off the screens and back to the, the yeah. podcast here, because <laughs> <laughs> those people are gonna get pissed and turn us off. Like. Uh, I don't get to see Somebody it. Somebody has a song. Well, just stick, know, a, stick up links. There'll be no, links. No right There'll be now. links in the description for some of the things we're talking about. Just put that in the notes there. So remember to do it. Yeah. yeah. It will be links. <laughs> we're not going to remember. Period. Yeah. <laughs> there's, no, there's, there's, there'll be links. I'll add links. Right. Yeah. For the Batman suit. Yeah. Remember yeah. what you're putting links for. Oh, they also did confirm that Kate Beckinsale will be back for the fifth Underworld movie. Because they wow, need to really? the fifth Underworld movie. Yeah. Well, first of all, that's unnecessary. Yeah. Second all of all... All of the Underworld movies were unnecessary because the first one was a gigantic disappointment. And they should have quit making them after that. I mean, second of all, and don't get me wrong, I'm not, I'm not being sexist about this, but she's a little old, and she's supposed to be an immortal vampire. Well, oh, fuck it, CG. <laughs> Makeup, CG. Yeah, we got it. It's all not. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's the whole immortal vampire thing that I was worried I mean, about. I'm sure whatever. she still looks fine. good in tight black leather, so... I mean, I wouldn't say no. That's all we're saying. She was like, hey, you wanna but I honestly thought the get away from me? I'm like, no, I don't. That's <laughs> 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 about how it would go, too. Yeah. Can, you, can you not stand so close? Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> Personal space. Personal space. Uh, I thought the best Underworld movie was the third one. Yeah. It did not star Kate Beckinsale. Yeah, I agree with you. I like the third one as well. It's the only one I liked. Um, with that being said, I'll still watch it. With Rona Mitra? Yeah, Rona Mitra. Yeah, that was really good. Who I did like. Yeah. Well, I don't dislike Kate Beckinsale. I just thought that they liked. In the first one, they had. I'm gonna. Okay. I've I seen watched Focus one. recently. Okay, it's the uh, Will Smith. With he Margo watched Robin Focus, movie, in case you where, didn't hear him say he watched I Focus. I watched Focus. I said it. I watched Focus. It was, a, it was a decent heist movie that was just made horrible by a shitty romance shoehorned into it. Underworld was a decent werewolves versus vampires movie that was just destroyed by a shitty romance that was shoehorned into it. It wasn't shoehorned. It was like the Focus. 
The problem no, is it should have like, more because it didn't feel like they devoted any real time to it. Well, they didn't. <laughs> I'm just saying they could have devoted all their time to the action, which they should have done. <laughs> I would say it was, it was a shitty movie, like, and it, it was mostly ruined by the shit. Because I'm like, like, look, I come to the movies just to suspend my disbelief, but when at the end she like turns against her father figure because he wants to kill this guy who she barely knows. Yeah. And just tra- like just locked in a room for three days. <laughs> Like, I'm like, what? No? That doesn't make any sense to me. Like, build me some relationship here. Oh, wait, hold on, though. You gotta, be, you, gotta, you gotta admit, though, if it was the other way around, it would make sense. It would make <laughs> To tell me it wouldn't make sense if it was the other way around. Because he, he, she would be like, I'm hot, and he's like, I'm retarded now, so yeah, let's <laughs> do it. Like, I'm, I don't know you what know I'm what? doing anymore. You know, that might be true. I, I, might have, I might have just bought right into it if it was the other way around. Yeah. I might have just been like, yeah, that makes sense to me. Yeah. I would have done that. Yeah, like, that guy's <laughs> definitely with his penis right now, so yeah, he would definitely do that. Yeah, yeah I think so. I think so. All right, fair enough. Anyway, but I think that's it. I think uh, we're yeah. done, yeah? Okay, covered everything? Oh, uh, yeah, well. Do you yeah. want to talk about why the MRAs hated Mad Max at all? Yeah, let's talk about that real quick. Oh, right yeah, Let it, let's talk about that. What MRAs, male um, rights activists, hated Mad Max. Yeah, and well, they jumped- at least one of them did. And he wrote an article about it, and then everyone on the article, everyone on the internet, picked up that same article and wrote an article about yeah. that guy hating it. He he said it, and then one yeah. guy was like, and the other guy was like, yeah, and they all just <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> well, I don't know. I didn't see any other MRAs writing articles about it. When I it's look, all over Reddit. When I see the article, yes, but they're all links to the same. They're all other people's articles that link back to the same article in return. Still a circle. Return jerk. of the kings. I get that. I granted, but both sides are circle jerking. Let's let's be honest. <laughs> the people who ate MRAs are just as circle jerking about it, about the one article that one guy wrote. It, it doesn't matter. Yeah. If only one guy wrote it and the rest of them start going, it, it counts. It's, yeah, fair enough. Fair you enough. Know, it doesn't, it doesn't, <laughs> as we've seen with Gamergate. Right. Anyway, so okay. I don't I know. You're trying to point to me like I. No, 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 no. Okay, it was, like, that was. <laughs> bro, yeah. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, I don't give a shit about gaming journalism. <laughs> yeah, that's my oh. favorite part. It's like, never mind. We won't do that. Um, yeah, I don't know why they hated it. I really, I, I don't get it. Really, like, there's no reason for it. Really at all. But like, Furiosa barks orders at Mad Max, bro. I'm like, yeah, that's because they're both trying to fucking survive. And one of them knows and the other one doesn't know. She's an Imperador. <laughs> she, right, yeah. she has a badass title. She right. probably knows shit. She probably yells orders at a lot of other fucking people. Yeah, she's yeah. a leader. She, yeah. yeah. That's what she does. Well, I, like, listen, I would, I would <coughs> get it if it was some more subtle, like, feminist sort of, like, ideals that were being perpetrated here. But it's not. It's like, if it was something like, well, we should be able to vote and be leaders in this community <laughs> with an immortal Joe. If that was it, I would get it, but it's not. It's like, we just don't want to be sex slaves. Right. That's... Seems like a reasonable yeah. demand. Reasonable, it's a reasonable demand. Seems like think. a reasonable demand. Like, maybe that should be okay. Right. Like, we, we feel like in this post-apocalyptic world, you should look at us with respect and not just stare at our boobs. Like, oh. Right. I would get it if that which, was the case. Which, by the way, I'm amazed, like, in the outfits that they were in, that there was never any nudity in this movie. Yes, yeah. it was. Was it? The, the bait. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That was so far away, you can hardly really tell. That is bait. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. love that line. That is bait. That is bait. You're right, you're right. She was naked. You're right. But, but like, other than that, well, right. and the milk mothers. Tons of milk mothers. Oh, no, yes. Yeah, we, well, yeah. That's still nudity. It's still nudity. You might not want to see it, but it's nudity. You're correct. <laughs> you are correct. But like they have those like five hot chicks and like the like, like barely their outfits, never once naked. Yeah, true, it's true. But uh, but I love that w- women. Okay, look, they killed a pregnant lady in Mad Max. Okay, that's a, that's a serious fucking deal. Yeah. You don't kill pregnant ladies in movies. Yeah. You don't do that. Oh, and her kid didn't live, and they t- no. they took the time to cut it out of her too, and like show that scene. Like <laughs> right. it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. They- so someone at the at the theater at the studio had to, to be convinced to let them kill a pregnant woman in this movie. Then cut the baby from her. Right. Yeah. You know, and that's suddenly, like, uh, and suddenly, this is a movie that is like, obviously just. You know, you know another <laughs> well, movie that I, I, mean, I, I think it just goes more to the point where like, 
people are just fucking people, and everybody gets killed in this in this yeah. world. That's the way it fucking is, you know. Because yeah. once you kill the pregnant lady, you know anybody can fucking die at this point. Yeah. Like that. Like everyone. Well, they they went out of their way to go make you go. Oh, she's not dead. We don't kill pregnant ladies. Bam! She's dead. <laughs> she's dead. <laughs> Right, because they tried to kill her once, you're like, oh no, she didn't actually die there. Right. And then you're like, oh, guess what? No, she's still dead. She's still she's dead. Totally she did. She did. She did. She did. She did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, I really, I don't understand their uproar about it. It's really a stretch. Like, even for MRAs, it's a stretch. <sighs> what if they just saw it as an mm -hmm. opportunity to get their ideas out there and just, like, In the article he wrote, it. he said that, according to the trailers that he watched, which I imagine are the same trailers that everyone else watched. Right. It was supposed to be a story about Mad Max standing up for his principles against all against a bunch of other men who had no principles, and that it was a movie about a strong male character, and that's not what he got. He's wrong. He has no principles. He's fucking insane. He is literally Mad Max. Like, don't write an article maybe unless you know the backstory of the maybe character. Maybe that's his principle. His insanity. Well, he was pretty strongly insane the entire time. So I don't, know. I don't know. I, I agree with you. The dude's fucking retarded. And has no reason to be angry other than to generate a bunch of buzz, which he did. I'm successful at that. Yeah, well, props to him, I guess, and <laughs> maybe he's maybe he's just buzz. out there like promoting. You know, I wanna now that it's been out uh, a minute, I wanna go and see if there's any more buzz about it. Like what what the MRAs are saying now that it's been out for a minute. And everyone's seen it and and whether or not he this guy is literally just shooting MRA I right. up his butthole. And well, and they kill, out his mouth. they kill the old ladies too. Yeah. Oh yeah, brutally. Like she just stood around for a while, just being like, nah. <laughs> she got brained. Yeah. You know, and they just had to watch her slowly die from like bleeding in her in her head. It's yeah. pretty brutal, really. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Nobody was safe in the Mad Max universe. Nope. It was really good. That being said, far more people survived than I expected. Yeah. <laughs> like, granted. Granted. <laughs> yeah. A lot more people survived. But. Well, I like that all of the wives weren't helpless people. You know what I mean? They were you integral. Them, you saw them, like, doing important functions because everybody had to pitch it. And they yeah. weren't just like, oh, we're useless damsels. They were like, we need to hold this, do that, do this. Yeah. Do that. You know what I mean? Whoa. <laughs> Somebody was barking order at them, so it was okay. Whoa. <laughs> quit, quit. My MRAs are hurt. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're in her MRA right now. My, so. my MRA fifis are, are in offense to you uh, supporting uh, this. I'm okay, not even sure what to call I'm sorry. I don't know the I, words well enough. I apologize. You should. I apologize. You should. I mean, I can't believe those dirty women were quit, allowed to do quit anything. Quit promoting this matriarchal society. It's terrible. <laughs> Gynocentric society. Gynocentric, thank you. That's the word I, that's, that's the stupid ass term I was looking for. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh, well, right. yeah. We could go on and on about that. Yeah, we, we could. could. For a while. Let's go ahead and... Put Let's talk about something more important like gaming journalism. Right. <laughs> gaming journalism. Oh, well, I mean, on game fronts, I'm going to be picking up the new Witcher Wild Hunt. Oh, yeah? Um, I'm going to pick it up, opening it up, I'm going to download it, you know. With my 500 gig <sighs> Xbox, I can only hold four games. <laughs> so, but yeah, I'm going to pick it up. And I'll I'll play it. We'll come over and check, come over and check it out. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking about doing a little bit of a Twitch with it, but I don't know how well Twitch streaming lends to Xbox Connect and stuff like that. Well, it's well, set up. The Xbox Xbox is specifically is like set up to specifically right. streaming. Yeah. So, yeah. It do, works you have really a, well. do you have the Connect? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Just camera. Yeah, the whole thing is, is set up specifically so you can stream it. I'm gonna yeah. have to clean my room up a little bit so people don't see my mess style that I live in, but eh. Yeah. Or just put a sheet behind me and call it a day. <laughs> yeah. This is why this is why this place is always clean, so just in case I never clean right before we shoot. <laughs> that never happens. That's never happened, not once. Oh, but yeah, so we're looking forward to it. It's supposed to be really good. I've heard a lot of good reviews about it. I've watched some gameplay about the game. It seems pretty legit. It wow. seems really good. So Sex on a unicorn, man. <laughs> Sex on a unicorn, yeah, I can't wait to do that. Yeah. So yeah. But on that note, thank you for joining us for our one hundredth episode. Yep. It's been a long run. We're going to continue to do this run. We're probably going to get some vehicles. So, yeah. <laughs> With spikes on it. We're, yeah. <laughs> we're going to make porcupine cars, because that's cool. Uh, I'm for it. Yeah. Let's yeah. make some porcupine cars. Join us next week. Uh, check us out on YouTube. 
this will be up on YouTube probably within the next couple of days at least. Uh, random subject generator. This will never make it up on, on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> random subject generator on Facebook. RSG podcast on Twitter. RSG podcast on YouTube. And yeah, check us out at rsgpodcast.com. We're going to do some, uh, well, Mr. Watts is going to do some old movie, movie reviews for movies that we all didn't see. Like, yeah, uh, that came out, what came out this year? That, right. Like, movies that we don't yeah. talk about here on the podcast. Hot Sub Time Machine being one. Yeah, Hot Sub like Time Machine 2, uh, um, Focus, Fast and Furious 7. Yeah, he saw Fast and Furious 7, most of it. Um, <sighs> Damn, he'll so he'll talk about that on his little... So bad. Yeah, but uh, you're going to do some game stuff. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna have a nice little setup on there. We just need to have a good picture for the heading. So we might just take one here since we're all pretty much doing the Jesus thing with our table. So <laughs> <laughs> should have less of it. You should. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you for tuning in and have a good night. I want to be married.